Hey guys, welcome to vtishacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to solve an example on Horner's method of synthetic division. So let us try to solve an example here. So given that 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 1 are the factors of the polynomial 6x power 4 plus 29x cube plus 30x square minus 11x minus 6 then we have to find the other factors of this polynomial. So given that 2x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial then by transferring minus 1 and 2 to the other side of the divisor we get x is equal to 1 by 2 as the multiplier. Now let us write all the coefficients of the polynomial in an horizontal row. So here we have the coefficient of x power 4 as 6 and we have the coefficient of x cube as 29 and similarly we have the coefficient of x square as 30 and minus 11 as the coefficient of x and we have the constant term as minus 6 and we know the second horizontal row begins just by writing 0 below the first coefficient so by adding 6 and 0 we get 6 now let us multiply the multiplier 1 by 2 with 6 by simplifying we get here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 3 times is 6 so we get the result 3 let us write this below the second quotient and here 29 plus 3 would come as 32 and now let us multiply 1 by 2 with 32 we get here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 16 times is 32 so let us write the result below the third quotient so by adding 30 and 16 we get 46 and again let us multiply the multiplier 1 by 2 with 46 so by simplifying we get 2 1 time is 2 and 2 23 times is 46. Let us write the result below the quotient of x that is minus 11 and here minus 11 plus 23 would come as 12. So again let us multiply 1 by 2 with 12 we get here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 6 times is 12. So let us write this result below the constant term minus 6. So minus 6 plus 6 would come as 0. So we get here the remainder as 0. Now let us consider the other factor here. We have the other factor as 3x plus 1. So we get the multiplier x as minus 1 by 3. So here the next row starts by writing 0 below the first quotient. So by adding 6 and 0 we get 6. Now let us multiply the new multiplier minus 1 by 3 with 6. We get here 3 1 time is 3 and 3 2 times is 6. And minus 1 into 2 would come as minus 2. So let us write minus 2 below the second element of the third row 32. So we get here 32 minus 2 as 30. Now let us multiply minus 1 by 3 with 30. We get here 3 1 time is 3 and 3 10 times would be 30. And by multiplying minus 1 and 10 we get the result minus 10. So let us write this below the third row. Here 46 minus 10 would come as 36. And again by multiplying minus 1 by 3 with 36 we get 3 1 time is 3 and 3 12 times is 36. So minus 1 plus 12 would come as minus 12. So let us write this result below the fourth element of the third row. So we get here plus 12 minus 12 as 0. And now let us divide all the elements with 6. We get here 6 1 time is 6 and 6 5 times is 30 and 6 6 times would come as 36. So we get the quotient as x square plus 5x plus 6. Now let us factorize this quotient. So we know that factorization method begins with multiplying the quotient of x square with the constant term 6. So by multiplying we get 6. So let us write the factors of 6. We have here 2 into 3. So if we write here 2x plus 3x we get 5x which is the middle term of the expression. So we can write this expression as x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. Now let us take x as a common factor from first to two terms we get x plus 2. Now let us take 3 as a common factor from the other two terms we get 3 into x plus 2. Again by taking x plus 2 as a common factor we can write here x plus 2 into x plus 3. So therefore the other factors of the polynomial would be x plus 2 into x plus 3. So therefore, we can conclude that the factors of the polynomials are 2x minus 1, 3x plus 1, x plus 2 into x plus 3. So this was a basic introduction on how to solve an example on Horner's method of synthetic division. 
Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.